Hey Pisces! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a financial reading for you guys. So let's see what is showing up through the cards in regards to finances, money, um, new projects, new jobs, potentials, ideas. <laughs> you know, let's just see what shows up, alright? For some reason I've been I'm drawn to the yellow and the orange in all of these items. So maybe a focus in your second and third chakra empowerment as well for you can make a difference. Instead of being passive about it, start, start or continue to be active in regards to your finances could actually make a difference, okay? Let's see. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would love to have you here. So if it resonates with you and you would like to join me in future readings, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button. I see. Some of you guys could potentially be dealing with something that is a little bit deeper, a little bit more unconscious in nature in regards to money that could be potentially holding you back, okay? So, hmm. let's see what this is. So we have three advice cards, and the first one is the strongest, the heaviest, Sever Vows of Poverty. I have mentioned this countless times um, in past lives, <laughs> if you believe in reincarnation. You may have agreed to something. You may have made some kind or signed some kind of contract or agreement in which you maybe renounced to something or committed to a life in which, you know, fi finances, money, the system of... Okay, so let me put the same example that I always say. I'm not gonna get too original in this one so I might get lost and start saying things that are nonsense. <laughs> The example I always use is, let's say that you wanted to be a monk in a past life and you were asked to renounce to material possessions and the attainment and the worship and the usage of um, material stuff, pretty much. Money, etc. So you agreed to that, you made a contract to renounce to that. In that time, that made perfect sense. But then you come into this lifetime and you're trying to live in a system that is completely pretty much about that, right? <laughs> in this society. And you find yourself clashing and sabotaging and really feeling like a fish out of water, not being able to navigate this current society's system. And you feel like you maybe don't have that ability for some reason, like that part of your life is always blocked. This could be stemming from that contract that you once agreed upon, that it's still somewhere in your deep, deep, deep subconscious mind telling you, hey, remember that you did this contract, remember that you agreed to this, remember that you uh, renounced to this. So when you try with your conscious mind to take actions towards abundance, your subconscious mind or your conscious mind, which is more powerful, tries to stop you by making you choose things, decisions, thoughts, words, actions that ultimately keep you in poverty. So yeah, let's see what the message of the card has to say. <laughs> Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. An intention, lighting a candle, doing a meditation, past life regression, um, whatever it is that you choose to do, set that intention to be liberated from all of those things. The ones you know of, the ones you don't know of, the ones that are um, holding you back in regards to money, the ones that are holding you back in other areas that maybe you're not aware of. Ask for your freedom. Claim your freedom. Claim your power. Then we've got visualize abundance in all forms. 
God gave you such a great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes a reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. So Pisces, I feel like some of you guys have had this very silent, very subtle vision of who you are through years, almost a decade. And it's like you know who you're going to get to be. You know who you truly are in the future. Um, you know your potential. You know your worth. You know the level of success that you will achieve. Even if your current reality is not yet reflecting that, it's like you have this vision inside of you. There's a part of you that just knows that you're going to be great. That there is greatness within you. That there's a powerful mission. That something that you are working on is going to really explode in a great way. So continue to visualize what you're visualizing. Continue to hold that north. And before you know it, you will be there. However, if you feel like you continuously find yourself blocked time and time and time again and can't put your finger on it, explore this possibility of a past life blockage, okay? A past life vow. Explore that possibility because that is, that's a big one, okay? And there's 44 cards here and that one tends to show up a lot for Pisces. Pisces, in my opinion, are people who have lived many, many incarnations gather tons of wisdom and experience and in those bunch of incarnations you know we go through all sorts of things initiations rituals spiritual paths religion um cults <laughs> who knows and those tend to have you know their own little perspective and their mandates and their rules and we, you know, may have taken all sorts of vows and contracts. I addressed this very deeply in the Past Life Regression course. The link will be below. Um, but you don't have to do it through that course. You know, you can, do, you can just research on YouTube online. You're going to find infinite information. Try not to get overwhelmed. But that is something that really can make a difference. Third card that we have here as advice is take a divinely guided change. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk, and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. What is your heart telling you to do? What do you feel like doing in regards to work, in regards to money? Are you feeling very inclined to invest? Are you feeling very inclined to wait? Are you feeling very inclined to take a job, leave a situation? What do you want to do? As simple as that, what do you feel like doing? Six of Swords. Some of you guys are going to be moving away from a job, a current contract, whether it is past lives or like literally in this lifetime, like uh, leaving behind something that was limiting you. You're going to be taking a risk. You're going to be walking out of your comfort zone and saying, you know, what's out there? There's going to be more to life, sort of. And even if it's an uphill battle, it seems like it's something you're excited about. It seems like you're going to make it somehow sort of like a fun thing to do. To go through the challenges. To navigate new territories. And I think that you're aware that it's not going to be easy. You have your backpack on, you have your boots on, you're ready. <laughs> you're ready for the money parts. Because you know they're worth it. So listen to that. Listen to that divine guidance. Are all of the actions that, or most of the actions that you're taking today aligned with that vision of yourself that you're holding?
Are you being truthful to what you know you want? Or are you taking decisions out of fear? You don't have to change anything, but it's, it's a wonderful thing just to notice. Justice. What action or what decision can take you to a space in which you feel like you're justified, you're heard, you are being brought divine justice? Is it leaving a job? Is it leaving a friendship? A partnership? Is it spending your savings? What is it that makes you feel like you have been honored and things are fair? This could be something like you making a bunch of money and for some reason making a decision that you know, doesn't let you touch that money because of maybe a vow of poverty in the past or sabotage or a partnership that someone is telling you to do that. What action would make you feel justified? Is it claiming that power back? Taking back the access to that money that is yours? Taking back, you know, your freedom, your schedule, your time, your energy, your perspective? What is it that you need to take back? What is something that you need to do in your work and finances to feel good, to make it all worth it? You could be dealing with a Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy as well. Some of you guys are really, really stepping into such a boss energy. You know that up-leveling can be difficult, but it's like you don't care, as I mentioned earlier. It's like you pack your bags and you said, you know, bye. I'm going to go see different things. I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go somewhere nicer. And that somewhere nicer could be uh, a place in which you honor your stability, your stability, your groundedness, your responsibilities, but you also have fun and you also have luxuries and beautiful things that make all of your hard work worth it. What I see here is that you've worked really hard and now you get to enjoy it. You have been very responsible. You have been very... You know, you've had this vision and you have really brought it to life. To the amusement of many people around you, even yourself sometimes. And it hasn't been easy. It may have been an uphill battle, but now you're choosing to be fair to you. And you're choosing to balance things out a little bit. Putting in the hard work, but also putting in, you know, the time to play. 50-50. Some of you guys could have been dealing with some kind of legal issue. And you have chosen to move away from it. To drop it. And maybe that will make the other person automatically win or whatever, but you feel like it's worth it for your peace of mind. You're right. If that resonates with you, you are right. Six of Wands. There's victory here. Celebration, happiness, joy. I feel like you're going to be having more time to perhaps... Connect with friends, family, loved ones. Maybe have a little bit of perhaps downtime or go on a trip or do something nice. I see you enjoying what you have created in your life. And that could be, you know, meaningful relationships. 
That could be you celebrating a milestone with your team, for example. Or your family. Some of you guys are getting a raise, is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys are getting a very generous raise that you have already earned. It's very fair, it's very just, it has been sort of like coming for a while, and you get it, and that is reason to celebrate. Some of you guys may be um, going on a trip to Hawaii. I see someone here who does not live in Hawaii or anywhere close to Hawaii, and maybe you're going on a girl's trip or something. You're gonna enjoy it is what I'm hearing. Strength. There's a lot of resilience in this in this reading. Power, resilience, smarts, street smarts. You know, someone here who's not gonna take no for an answer for yeah, for an answer. You're not gonna take no for an answer. You are going to become this vision of yourself that you have. You're not gonna let life derail you because you've had this vision for so long some of you guys visualize yourselves as millionaires others as very powerful entrepreneurs others of you I get chills when I say that look at that um, some of you envision yourselves as rich or famous or a very powerful influencer or having a very big following or something you know that vision it's not wishful thinking that is you sort of taking a peek into that future. And that future self of yours, extending a hand to your current self in order to pull you forward. So everything here is collaborating for your success, the chariot, progress, movement forward. Some of you guys are thinking about dyeing your hair. You're gonna love how it comes up. Ten of Swords. Look at that. She's so proud of all of these swords on her jacket. I feel like this is sort of like the scars, the, the battle wounds that she gets the bragging rights to. <laughs> all the difficult things she has gone through, all the things she has survived, all the things she has endured. It's powerful stuff. Look at that. Ain't nobody gonna mess with you, Pisces. Cause you love yourself. And you take pride in all the things that you have already lived. And that vision is the key for everything here. Page of Coins. Some of you guys are gonna have to go back to square one. Study. Get your <laughs> nose deep into the books. Learn new skills. Learn the skills that you need in order to go into this next next chapter. Okay, so, you know, um, when I started, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my path. If you don't like that, you can tune off. <laughs> but if you would like to hear, I always draw parallels in a way that is supposed to sort of give you some guidance. It's not just me talking about me, it's, it's me talking about my experiences in order for you to evaluate your experience in the same way. Anyway, um, when I, st I started, I studied architecture, right? I hated it so much. Studying it was wonderful, but as soon as I started working, I was like, oh my God, what the fuck, no. <laughs> and then I decided, decided to just sort of take a leap of faith. I was young and I was just like, I'm gonna, do something different, I don't know, something spiritual. So I became a yoga teacher and then transitioned into more of a healer therapist and I've been doing a bunch of things through the years, but ultimately it's kind of like a spiritual online business, pretty much, you can say so. And I remember once uh, seeing this quote that said, you know, when I left my 9 to 5, I never thought that I would have to become you know, in order to be that spiritual online business, I would have to become a website creator, a <laughs> graphic designer, a um, assistant, a bookkeeper, an accountant, you know, a uh, YouTuber, email marketer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's so many things that so many skills 
that you need to develop in order to do something totally different. And so many hats and so many roles that you need to play. And some of you guys, especially those who are venturing in the way that I'm, I'm letting you know about my own path, into something brand new, you're going to realize that there's tons of things that you need to learn. Skills, you know. I mean, if you have the budget to hire everybody, that, that's definitely going to make a difference. But, you know, most people don't. Most people are really making, you know, ends meet, trying to find a way to leave their current job and move in a safe way into the, this, this new risk. And all I can say is study. I, I studied everything I could. From business, seriously, from business to like interior design to like graphic design to website creation and email marketing, seriously, like I've taken every online course that you can think of. And if you guys are willing to do that too, um, I recommend Udemy.com. Udemy.com is great for all of the stuff that you may possibly need if you're taking a leap of faith right now. Trust and honor your strength. You are so absolutely capable, okay? So don't forget that. When you feel like you're a beginner, if you feel like you're just, you know, a little bit out of sorts, remember everything that you have been through and every single challenge that you have um, mastered, overcome, and ultimately gotten bragging rights for, you know, for that scar, for that lesson. So yes, Pisces, bottom line in regards to money, I see some of you taking a big leap of faith, um, preparing yourselves to take that leap of faith, making decisions that honor your hard work, your desires, your time, your energy. Definitely celebration of great abundance and success. Some of you guys getting a promotion, long overdue. Um, some of you guys do need to make some deep dives into healing past life contracts and vows, okay? So you can go ahead and do some research about that. There's tons of information everywhere. Um, just be mindful about the sources that you search, of course. If any of you resonate with me being a guide in that information, um, I have the past life regression course that is on my website available right now for you at a very affordable price in which I will basically be your therapist at home <laughs> and guide you through the elimination of these kind of things in four major areas of your life through past life guided regression therapy, right? So if that resonates with you, all the info will be below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Cheers to all of the Pisces who are enjoying your tea or your coffee in our Pisces as fuck mug. Thank you all for your donations, your support, your purchases of our merch, everything really. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next week. Bye.